Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to another video. So as you know, Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 4 is right around the corner. And as tradition has it, we've got to make a video talking about what we want to see. In today's video, we'll be talking about a bunch of changes in terms of both casual and competitive that we want to see in Fortnite Season 4 Chapter 2. Let us know down in the comments what you think of our list and what you want to see most. And hey, be sure to drop a like on the video as well because that helps it reach more people and the video reaching more people means a higher chance that Epic themselves might even see it and implement some of these changes. And finally, make sure you're subscribed to see more of the best Fortnite tips and tricks content in the game. And one last thing guys, with season 4 on the horizon, the competition will be fierce as ever. It's always tough keeping up with the meta and staying on top. That's why we've just added an old new VOD replay system, live interactive classes and pro coaching all easily accessible. So make sure you guys give it a chance and you won't be disappointed. With that said, and without further ado, let's hop right into it. First, we're going to talk about LTM modes, the first change we want to see in Fortnite Season 4, guys. It's more LTM modes, also known as limited time modes. In Season 3, especially toward the end of the season, we saw some awesome LTMs come out. And honestly, it's such a fun, refreshing experience to play LTMs again. It's just a great break from all the core gameplay. It's awesome for the casual players, and there really aren't any downsides to hosting more LTMs. A few LTMs I'd personally like to see in next season includes 50-50. I'd like to see the Racks to Riches mode again because that was super fun and the Catch LTM. And maybe even a few of the other classics like Teams of 20, Slide, Sneaky, Silencers, and the good old Snipers only LTM. Now another thing that we want to see is separate loot pools. We're going to talk about separating casual and competitive loot pools. Now this has been a topic heavily discussed for a while but honestly I feel like it'd be a really good change. Obviously casual modes are supposed to be fun and enjoyable and having a fun and diverse loot pool comes with that. However, sometimes there are items that simply wouldn't do well at competitive that would be super fun in normal matches. For example, right now we have the flare gun in public matches, but we don't have it in arena, which is an amazing thing. But there needs to be more of this separation in the loot pool and hopefully in season four of Fortnite. These just for fun items like C4, snipers, miniguns, and other things of that nature are fun to mess around and have fun with in pubs, but in competitive, they really hurt the quality of gameplay. There has to be some change in terms of that to allow casual players to have fun while also allowing competitive players to stay well, competitive, and separating the loot pools would do just that. Now the next thing we're going to talk about is mythic weapons, another feature that sort of comes in hand with separate loot pools, but don't get me wrong, these are fun and should definitely be an option for casual modes, but it really seems like it hurts the quality of gameplay in competitive. You've got to think about it, in competitive you usually have two options, either land at a mythic POI to get absolutely stacked out of your mind, but is essentially a 50-50, or land at a normal POI to play a bit safer but of mediocre loot. Honestly, I feel like Mythic Loot is a cheap way to force more aggression in the early game and it really doesn't help the quality of gameplay when someone with a Mythic item is basically guaranteed to make it to the end game and often win it all. Imagine Caddy Launcher for example, jumping into boxes and dominating players. I understand what people mean when they say it's a trade off and how it's technically anyone's game, but it really just hurts the quality of normal gameplay and it really seems like the removal of Mythic items would be the most healthy choice for competitive in the long run even though it's really fun now. Instead of mythic POIs, what we suggest is Epic may be better off adding a few POIs with crazy good loot, similar to that of Tilted Towers in Chapter 1. This would allow aggressive players to have a more risky yet rewarding early game, while other players can settle for slightly less stack loot in exchange for a safer early game, without having their games ruined by extremely OP mythic items. The next major, huge quality of life change that Epic could bring into the game is an FOV slider, or the return of OG stretch resolution. With the separation of console, mobile, and PC and competitive, it honestly seems like there's never been a better time to reintroduce this much loved feature into the game and allow us to see more around our characters and just generally have more customizability over our game. Epic, if you're watching this, please add back our beloved stretch resolution or at least an FOV slider. Come on guys. 
And next we have the removal of skill based matchmaking. This is a bit more controversial than the rest. The issue with skill based matchmaking is that technically it makes the game easier for newer players, but it makes wins less rewarding as newer players know that they're pretty much only fighting against other noobs or bots. The great thing about being new to Fortnite in the past was the grind to get that first win. Yes, you were bound to lose a ton on your way to your first win, but that made it so much more special when you actually got that win, guys. Nowadays, new players are basically fed wins and it really doesn't feel rewarding to them. And more skilled players suffer as well, since they're forced to go against other skilled players and skilled lobbies basically turn into a massive sweat fest without the same loop pool. If skill based matchmaking was removed, then yes, newer players would struggle for wins, but that's the whole point, is the grind to finally get that first win, which makes it that much more special. That spark has gone away from Fortnite and it really seems like the removal of skill based matchmaking would do nothing but good for the game, for both new and experienced players alike. Speaking of skill based matchmaking, if you feel like you're just getting destroyed in all of your games, then be sure to check out ProGuides.com, where we have plenty of courses to help you strengthen your skills and knowledge of Fortnite along with pro coaches who can help you spot and improve on your weak points in the game. Be sure to check it out at ProGuides.com or click the link in the description to get started. Now let's talk about Trio FNCS. We've got something you competitive players have probably been waiting for, which is Trio FNCS. Now, the last true FNCS was back in Chapter 1 Season X, and as you guys probably know, since then we've had FNCS tournaments in squads, duos, and then slolos in that order. With that in mind, the obvious upcoming FNCS should most likely be trios, unless Epic was to retire the FNCS label and start up another major tournament, or just continue to keep doing solos like they did for the last two major events. True FNCS would be fun though, especially in a similar meta to the current one. Trio tournaments have done awesome so far, and it really seems like True FNCS may be next. Let me know down in the comments if True FNCS were to be a thing, which trios would you like to see come together? In my opinion, seeing the classic MMB trio, also known as Mitro, Mongrel, and Benji, would be amazing. And let me know down below which trios you guys would like to see again once more. More server locations is another major thing that we wanted to talk about, and this huge change that would benefit the game a ton is the addition of more locations in servers. Currently, the only servers in the game are NA East and West, Brazil, Asia, Europe, Oceania, and Middle East. Since the addition of Middle East servers, players have been begging for the addition of more servers, most notably South African servers. Honestly, it would be a difficult feature to pull off, but it may be a good idea to add even more servers for current high ping areas. We saw the addition of Middle East bringing a ton of underrated gods into the spotlight. Now imagine what would happen if they brought in even more. Overall, adding more servers wouldn't be the easiest thing for Epic, and it's understandable why they haven't done it, but it would honestly be amazing to see more servers added in the near future to help out some higher ping players. This change would do nothing but good for the game and would help improve the player experience by a huge margin. Now, let's move on to the final thing we want to see from Epic in the next season, and one that I personally think all of you guys could probably agree with us is bring back patch notes and communication. It seems like at the start of chapter two, Epic just went dark mode on us all of a sudden. No more patch notes, hardly any updates. All they wanted to do was tell us about item shops and stuff that makes them money. Now, while I'm sure Epic had some reason to do this, the complete removal of any communication we think had a huge negative impact and is partially why many casuals aren't happy with the game. Overall, it really doesn't make sense, at least to me, why Epic would want to cut off communication with their players. They've been a bit better about it with creator patch notes and a few blog updates, but what we really want to see is the complete re-edition of patch notes that they were in Chapter 1. If those return in Season 4, along with Epic, hopefully taking more feedback from their player base as well. I think a lot of players are going to be really happy and it'll genuinely have a big positive impact on the game. So basically guys, just to wrap everything up and give you guys a nice video recap with a solid conclusion, we want to say that's all the changes that we want to see in chapter two, season four. We want to see these things because they will help the game out significantly. They're going to add things that we've always wanted and things that we really enjoyed that they removed. 
maybe even add back siphon who knows guys things like this that we really want we need to voice out and we need to make videos like this and tell them to come back and please add these things so please guys be sure to voice it out tell epic what you guys want tweet it out leave what you want down in the comments below and with that said all the changes we want to see in chapters 2 season 4 have been said so let us know down in the comments if you agree or disagree with us and what you would add to the list if you had the choice and also let us know what you're looking forward to seeing in the next season and remember Remember that if you're struggling to improve at Fortnite, our website, ProGuides.com, is right there to help you with a variety of courses to help you improve, daily live classes from top tier players, and 24-7 on-demand one-on-one coaching from pro players to help you spot weak points in your game and start improving. Be sure to check it out. The link is down in the description or you can simply type in ProGuides.com on your browser. Once again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for tuning in and we hope to see you guys in the next one.